Welcome to our Chinese New Year show. The Three Little Pigs, Chinese style. Many years ago in ancient China, there were three little pigs. Yum Yum, Chow Mein, and Chopsticks. They lived in the shadow of a great mountain. At the top of the mountain lived a fiery dragon called Fireheart. Come on, Where is he? I'm not that one. Fireheart was a large, beautiful, and very proud dragon. He was covered in scales of solid gold that glistened in the sun. He would often sit high on the mountain, showing off how his golden scales glistened and shone to the villagers that lived nearby and worked in the rice fields. When the three little pigs were all grown up, the time came for them to leave home and seek their fortune. Before they left, their mother said to them, Confucius say, whatever you do in life, do it properly and to the best of your abilities. If you do not try your hardest, then bad fortune will find you. The first little pig, Yum Yum, was lazy and he did not try his hardest. He built his house out of straw because it was the easiest thing to do and there was lots of straw on the ground and he did not have to look hard to find it. Also, it was free. The second Chow Mein built his house out of sticks. This house was a little stronger and he had to go to the woods to collect the sticks so he had tried a little bit harder than his brother. The third little pig chopsticks laboured hard in the rice fields for many days until he had earned enough money to buy some bricks. Then he built himself a house out of the bricks. This house was very strong, and Chopsticks was very proud of what his hard work had earned him. One day, the fiery dragon, Fireheart, was hungrily scouring the fields for something tasty to eat. And he saw Yum Yum in his house of straw. He flew down and called, let me in little pig, let me in little pig, or I will huff and I will puff and I will burn you and your house of straw to a crispy frazzle. Oh no, Fireheart, said Yum Yum, I will not let you in, not by the noodles in my tummy tum tum. <laughs> so Fireheart huffed and he puffed. And he burnt the pig and his house of straw to a crispy frazzle. Fireheart flew on. And soon he spotted Chow Mein in the house of sticks. He called out, Let me in, little pig, let me in, little pig. <laughs> or I will huff and I will puff, and I will burn you and your house of sticks to a crispy frazzle. Oh no, Fireheart, said Chow Mein, I will not let you in. Not by the noodles in my tummy tum tum. So Fireheart huffed, and he puffed, and he burnt the pig and his house of sticks to a crispy frazzle. <coughs> Fireheart flew on. And eventually, he came to the house of bricks, where Chopsticks lived. He called out, let me in, little pig, let me in, little pig, or I will huff and I will puff, and I will burn you and your house of bricks to a crispy frazzle. Oh no, Fireheart, said Chopsticks, I will not let you in. Not by the noodles and my tummy tum tum. So Fireheart huffed and puffed but the brick house did not burn. So Fireheart huffed and he puffed 
and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed but still the brick house did not burn chopsticks laughed and taunted the dragon you can huff and puff all you like old fireheart but you will never have the puff to blow down my lovely strong house of bricks fireheart grew angry and huffed and puffed with all of his might he huffed and he puffed so hard that he blew himself up. Oh! <laughs> Sparks of bright colours filled the sky. The people in the rice field saw the lights and thought that they were fireworks. The dragon's beautiful golden scales drifted down from the sky and gathered on the ground around the house of bricks. Chopsticks gathered them up. He had worked hard to build his strong house of bricks and now he had a fortune in gold. Chopsticks had found his fortune and he lived happily ever after in his house of bricks. The end. Yeah. Well done. <laughs>